The United Food and Commercial Workers International Union, or UFCW, came to an agreement with Stater Brothers Markets to reinstate the company's $2 per hour hazard pay. It applies to all 18,000 hourly employees in its store distribution, transportation and construction operations, and corporate offices across California for at least three weeks from the work periods that started December 6th and 7th. In a company statement last Friday, Stater Brothers CEO Pete Van Helden said, I continue to be proud of our employees who display their extraordinary dedication every single day, and this wage incentive is but a small token of our company's appreciation of their efforts. At the beginning of the pandemic, Stater Brothers was like many other grocery companies who instituted hazard pay. The organization ended up extending their benefits five times to run through June 14th. But during the current wave of rising COVID-19 infections, they find themselves in the minority of grocery stores to give bonus pay to their employees. Kroger, which is Ralph's Food for Less, um, they, they are not doing it. They were the first company to pull out from doing it. Um, we've asked them continually to please in reinstate the hazard pay. Um, Albertsons Vons has given their workers a, uh, a, a bonus, uh, basically a five, $5 an hour bonus averaged over a, a week's worth of pay, which is something. It's something, and I recognize that, but they can do more too. A grocery outlet that is giving additional pay to employees is Trader Joe's, which is not part of the UFCW. In an email to KPBS, the company said, they are continuing to provide an additional $2 for every hour worked. The thank you pay will remain in place until at least March 31, 2021, or until we're no longer considered an essential business. The UFCW represents workers at some of the nation's largest grocery store chains, like Albertsons, Ralph's, and Vaughn's. It's said that among their members, there have been at least 109 grocery store worker deaths and over 17,400 infections or exposures to COVID-19 since the onset of the pandemic. We've had members who've been quarantined numerous times. They don't have any sick leave left. The lack of sick leave, lack of paid leave is encouraging or forcing somebody to choose, do I go to work and put food on the table or do I stay home, which is the right thing to do and not infect other workers. The UFCW union is demanding that retailers and grocery companies also provide free personal protective equipment and COVID-19 tests to all employees. Jacob Ayer, KPBS News.